Hello guys, I am finally getting a chance to listen to Lights, Camera, Action, the new single by none other than Kylie Minogue, and I also am well aware of that tension too is on the way. I actually already have it saved in my Apple Music library, so in the spirit of October, happy October by the way, you can bet your vampire's ass that I will be reacting to the album as soon as it drops. Well, as soon as I get a chance. Let me not make any promises. I have learned my lesson after Hurricane Helene, which I was very close to, unfortunately. <laughs> the last few weeks have been not fun, but let's not get into that. Let's get into this. I will be listening to the audio first, then watching the music video, because in all my previous music video reactions where I'm listening to something I've never heard before, I always get distracted by the visuals, and I feel like I never pay enough attention to the song on my initial listen, so hopefully this will rectify that, but you guys will have to let me know after this if you think I should keep doing it this way. All right, let's give this a listen. Okay. We're not even in the chorus, and she's already name-dropped Lagerfeld and mentioned Vogue. As I've said before, this woman knows her audience. In other words, she knows me too well. Okay. Lights, camera, action, that's it. Okay, this is what we're doing. Got it, Kylie. Got it. What a line. What a line. Also, she said, I look stunning tonight. I can't see her right now, but I agree. Wait, did she say stunning or stellar? Okay, she said stellar. Well, that too. That too. I will definitely be uh, looking into who produced this. I'm getting those same production butterflies that I got with Padam Padam. Actually, this song is more reminiscent of Tension, the track in my opinion. Action, that's it. And she has writing credits here. Cool. Random side note, but after listening to Impossible Princess, I feel like Kylie may not get as much credit as she deserves as a lyricist. I could be wrong. You know, I've only become a fan in the recent years, but she's a darn good writer as well. Also, I just took a look at the credits and it was produced by Lewis Thompson, and he is a producer from London, which checks out because I know Kylie works with a lot of British producers and records music in England quite often. But anywho, we have the music video. Let's get into it. If 
Kylie Noir is a new genre film. I'm interested. I did not expect us to break the fourth wall like that. Behind the scenes footage thing is really cool. Okay, that giant fan creating win. It's really cool, but nothing will ever compare to the icon that is the giant fan in the In My Arms music video. Whoa. She's just said crime scene tape, but make it chic. That's it. Well, yeah, that that just happened. Uh, that music video was quite meta. It really complimented the song, in my opinion, and I'm actually so glad that I listened to the audio first. I think I am going to continue doing it that way. I felt a lot less stressed about only focusing on the video. I just can't wait for tension too, and hopefully I will see you guys here to listen to it with me when I get a chance to listen to it. Also, can we talk about the fact that she just announced a North American tour? I would love to attend next year. I don't know if it's going to be able to happen, but hopefully it will be there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!